I've been looking forward to this one for a while. Hello everyone and welcome to the Anime Void, I'm Brian, your host, and today I'm going to be giving my first impressions on Do You Love Your Mom and Her Two-Hit Multi-Target Attacks. I'm going to be referring to this anime as Mama Isekai, just to make it shorter. Anyway, Mama Isekai is about a mother and son who go into a virtual reality MMORPG for a beta test. And my favorite part about that setup is that they don't actually explain how the virtual reality works. They just get sucked into a monitor and they're in a video game. They agree to it, but the how of how the technology works is never explained in the first episode. And the way they talked about it, I don't think it's ever going to be explained, and I kinda love that. The one thing that hasn't been explained yet, but will be later on based on how they talked about it, is why it was a mother and son. They talk about that a bit, and it's not explained yet, but you can tell by how they're talking about it, it's going to be explained later on, and what the reason for it is. The son is Makun, who I refuse to call by his real name because I know he doesn't like his nickname, and I don't want to respect him, because he is such a massive dick to his mother that he doesn't even deserve an incest side plot. Wait, his mother is Mamako, and yes, that's actually her real name. And there are actually a lot of punny names in this that I feel uh, a few of them are going to be lost in translation if this ever comes out in English. But Mamoko is the quintessential cute and ditzy mom character who really loves her son. And to bring it up to my joke earlier, not that much as far as I can tell. On one hand, I kind of would have liked the um, kind of crazy zany mom who would put her son in a headlock and can get like that kind of foreboding aura about her, but is still generally a good person and cares for her son a lot. But at the same time, given her OP powers, again, it's a two-hit multi-target attack, it makes more sense that she's ditzy and cute in a comedic aspect, since it is a comedy anime. The juxtaposition is a lot funnier with how they do it, rather than what I would have liked. And really, that's it for this episode. It was just setting up the mother and son and putting them into this virtual reality and sort of getting them started. We haven't really met any other characters except for the informant of the situation, who A, doesn't really inform anything, and B, is one of the names that I'm saying is the pun is going to be missed in English. Because apparently her name means to inform and she informs people. It's... I'm not gonna say clever, but it's funny. So yeah, from a first episode standpoint, I wouldn't normally be very interested because not a lot really went on in this episode that could really grab someone. But based on the premise alone that we already know that the mother is super OP and just goes around not meaning to, but does kind of crush her son's dreams just a tiny bit in a very well-meaning fashion just by how awesome she is. So I'm willing to stick out through the rest of the series for that until something happens that I just don't care anymore. Hopefully as more characters come in and their party grows a bit more, the comedy can really start rolling. So yeah, this episode was pretty funny, but... It wasn't, like, greatly funny. It wasn't the funny I was really expecting going in. So I'm kind of expecting, it's like, okay, they'll build up to it. And if they don't, screw it. Anyway, have you checked out Mama Isekai yet? Leave a comment down below if you have. Tell me what you thought about it. And if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more, please like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell icon so you don't miss an upload from me. And please consider supporting me on Patreon. Link in the description below. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to catch you next time in the void. Later.